everything in this place is gonna kill you. I'm surprised Snake can get through this. Okay, so using this oxygen cylinder, I should be able to wade in this deep water. Yep. Oh, I don't know why you have to go underwater. You could just swim on top of it, Snake. When Kojima actually proposed this idea of a sneaking game to his bosses, they were pretty hesitant. They didn't think a game like this would go over well with any audience. And coupled with the fact that Kojima's other game was cancelled, he came very close to both quitting gaming and leaving Konami forever. But then thankfully one of the bosses mentioned to him, you know, st stick in there, hang in there. And so he kept on working on the game thankfully and we got the game released as Metal Gear today. Why does there have to be so many? Man, these, these are some tough sneaking situations. And for people back then who were not used to stealth, this must have been extra hard. Oh Jesus, what the hell? Oh, uh, electrified floor. I could see where I need to shoot. You don't need to tell me. I know. Thanks for nothing, Big Boss. How come Big Boss knows which rooms to go in or where I should be going, but never gives me heads up about the important stuff? What the fuck's up with that? This is Resistance Leader Schneider. I know who the Outer Heaven Pot is. Who? No way. The Outer Heaven Pot is. Oh no. <laughs> well, don't. You, did you die or something? Or did you get bored? Did you see something cool on TV and got distracted? Come on. It seemed like it was important. Son of a bitch. Fuck that Schneider guy. I haven't seen his face, but I bet he's an asshole. What the hell? What? I'm gonna duck. Go ahead and shoot. If you dare. Okay, I dare. Uh! Okay, who's the fuck is calling me now? This is Jennifer. Dirty Duck has card eight. My brother is among the captives. Please don't kill them. Well, I don't wanna. If anything happens to my brother, I won't help you anymore. Oh, bullshit. Dirty duck, dirty duck. So I think the higher your class, the more items and the bigger your inventory can be. Because I could only collect about nine or seven rations before and now I could collect 12. How can you see me under the water? That's BS. Come on now, game. I feel like I can't trust my superior at all. I feel like he keeps leading me into traps. I'm dirty duck. Go ahead and shoot if you dare. So he hides behind hostages, and I can't shoot the hostages, otherwise I'll be in deep shit. Oh, I've killed one! Oh my god, I have to kill myself now! <laughs> I didn't mean to kill one. It could have been Jennifer's brother, and that would have fucked the whole game up. I don't know. Yeah, 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 shut up, you dirty bastard. Okay, let's go kill him. Screw this guy for cowering behind hostages. Fucking die. Good. Nice! Level 8 card. Thanks, man! I'm saved! Thank you for saving me. I'm Jennifer's brother. When you make your escape, climb the ladder on the left. Ooh. That sounds like it's pretty damn good information. Thank you, Jennifer's brother. He'll never have a name of his own. Ah! Will we ever see Jennifer? I don't think we will. Which is weird. So we have to go find Dr. Madnar's daughter before we can continue with the game because he's got information about Metal Gear, which is pretty much instrumental to finishing the game. Word to the wise, don't shoot this fake Madnar, even though you really want to, because it will lower your class. I found that out the hard way. Where the hell is the real Madnar's daughter? Been searching for ages. Are you kidding me? How would you, I, would, I got no hint that she was in behind a wall for God's sakes. God damn it, game! How would I ever have known to do that? Oh, fuck off. Okay, just fuck the hell off. No traps in here. Can I go down here and nobody's gonna attack me? Good. Whew. Oh, God. Hi, this is Di Diane. Are you okay? Look out for traps. Bye! <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Really helpful there. I know what I have to do, though. I got that flashlight earlier on, didn't I? Where is it? Oh, where is it? No! Where's the flashlight? Well, I picked up the flashlight again. I must have died at some point and not realized. Okay, now we gotta use the flashlight in here, now that we have it again. Oh, there it is. Looks like a pretty easy room to navigate. Whoa! Well, at least he starts me at the start of this friggin' trap-filled room, but still, that's bullshit. Okay, well, I'm assuming she must be past here, because there's plenty of traps in this room, and they wouldn't go to this... God damn it! They wouldn't go to this much trouble to put all these traps down if... There was nobody here. Oh, fuck you. Oh, god damn it. No. Jesus. How many traps can one room have? Are you kidding me? Well, this room is bullshit. I thought I'd seen peak Kojima bullshit, but no, he's found new ways to outdo himself. What the hell were wrong with Japanese people back in the 80s and 90s? They were so mean to their players. Oh, god. Oh. There's gonna be a trap through here, isn't there? Yes, there is! No! 
Holy shit, game! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Let me guess, there's a trap on the right, too. Well, politely tell me what the fuck. Okay, I think I have it. I think I know what to do. Ah! Uh, God, no! You're fucking with all of my mind. I didn't sign up for this, goddammit. Ugh. Okay, here we go again. Round number two, yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I made it. There's a lot of dogs in here. Fuck off, Poochie. Puppers. I don't need you in my life. She better be worth it. Whatever Madnar has to tell me about Metal Gear better be the most amazing thing ever. Like the biggest weak spot you can imagine that nobody else would have been able to figure out. Uh, help? Help? What? Where am I? Where's the voice coming from? Of course. I hear you. Stand away from the wall. No, actually, put your face right up to it. See what happens. I know I'm coming. Oh, here you are. You look completely different from the rest. Thank you. My name is Ellen Madna. I'm Dr. Madna's daughter. They're forcing my father to create Metal Gear. Please, hurry and help my father. No worries. I hope he'll just believe me. Ew, oh, fuck! What wasn't there before? God damn it. So we go back to report to Madna that his daughter's safe. Why would he believe us? How would he know that we're telling the truth? Other than by using Kodak, which I don't think we do, he just has to take our word for it. It's pretty sketchy. Arr with me, doggy! Finally, you! I am Dr. Drago Petrovich Madna. Metal Gear is 20 kilometers north of this building. It's located 100 floors below building 3. There is only one way to destroy Metal Gear. Attach plastic explosives to the legs of the unit where the armor is thin. The sequence is... What the fuck? After that, I don't remember. What? You don't remember? You have to attach 16 sets! The car that gets you out of the building too is with bloody pride. He's vulnerable to attacks from a rocket launcher. Good luck! I'd kill you for this! Oh god, I did kill him! <laughs> oh god, he's dead! For reals! <laughs> oh shit! Actually, guys, just kill me. I got the information. I don't want him to be dead and I don't want my class to go down. That was a bit of a fuck up. So that's why we needed to talk to Dr. Madnar to find out the exact sequence to plant the C4 on the Metal Gear's legs to blow it up. Otherwise... You could shoot at it or blow it up all day long and it wouldn't do anything. It has to be the exact sequence of right, left, right, left, whatever it was. And since most human beings will never ever remember that sequence he gave you, you'll just write it down. Although you have to sort of guess what the last one is, I guess. Whether it's left or right, I don't know. I kind of wish I'd made him stay dead for making me go on that wild goose chase. Okay, so here's the plastic explosives. So I guess the last thing now we have to do, we have to get back to where we went down that really long elevator, and I was right, it was where Metal Gear is situated, at the bottom of a hundred floor elevator. And then we simply have to blow it up, using that sequence, which I have written down, and I hope is correct. Because if it isn't, well, that's kind of bullshit. This place is a literal fucking nightmare. It's like Trap Central. It's like I've been led into traps from the moment I got here. It's like they know exactly where I'm gonna go, and they've placed all the traps to try to kill me. It's like somebody's working against me. The whole time. I know, I know, I know. So I gotta go through this door first. Ah, oh, baby shot! Thank you for helping me. The Outer Heaven boss is Foxhound's commanding officer, BIG BOSS?! No way! Actually, pretty much everybody could have figured that out, considering he keeps leading you into traps the whole time. He's behind all of this. Don't let him trick you. I won't. Thank you. Actually, that was really helpful. Although he has tricked me several times already. Son of a bitch! Happened again? He's been behind it all the whole time. He sent me in here as a rookie thinking, ah, he won't be able to get too far. He's just hes just a complete noob. He's a greenhorn. What's the worst that could happen? He's not even as good as Grey Fox. Well, they're about to find out. I think in the MSX version of the game, as soon as you stepped outside of that room there, Big Boss calls you up and says, turn the MSX off right now. Seriously. Which is a fantastic nod to, what the fuck? Whoa, what? Oh, I see. Yes, I see. I see what you mean. There's a secret wall over here. I know, I get you. Which is a fantastic nod to what the Colonel does in Metal Gear Solid 2 when he goes crazy. Well, it's a good thing I got enough plastic explosives. Ooh, I love it. I'm coming for you, bah! You be fucking around with me, boss. God damn it, I looked up to you and respected you. You're a legend. Why do you have to be a crazy warmonger? Okay, there's gotta be a trap in the middle of the room, isn't there? Oh my god, of course, there's a fucking mine on the floor. Why not? I'm pretty sure there's a mine det Are you kidding me with this? All the way back here. I'm pretty sure there's a mine detector in the game. I haven't got a fucking clue where it is, though. 
I tell you something, Big Boss sure has a fucking sense of humor with all these traps he puts around the place. Let's try to get through here. Yes, there's gonna be a mine. Big deal. I can- I can take them- Okay, okay, is that enough fucking- Uh, neck of the launcher away. Wait, where's the- Wait. Wait a minute. This is Jennifer. You're just gonna have to make a run for it. As long as you have some rations left, you'll be okay. Are you serious? No fucking way! This is horse shit! Ah, oh my god! Big boss! Why? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Slow down. Hold the fuck. Just... You're throwing a Metal Gear at me immediately. Just out of the, just out of nowhere, Metal Gear suddenly. No, no cutscene, no stomp, stomp, stomp when it comes forward. Just there it is. Okay, let me check to see what the fucking sequence is for its legs. I gotta say, this is the weirdest way to defeat a boss ever. To do it in this really specific fashion. But whatever, I'm not gonna question it too much. Even though it is kind of obtuse as hell, no one would ever think to do this. And then two more. Wait, two more. I'm gonna get one more thing though. This is bullshit! <laughs> okay, here we go. Round two. Let's try this again. So, <laughs> oh god. It's a real- I just want to admire this Metal Gear for a moment. Because it, it's way different than we're used to in anything else, isn't it? Look at it! It's like something out of a steampunk sci-fi anime. It's fantastic. It's so radically different. I love that. Okay, right, right, left, right. Uh, right. Uh, right. <laughs> Left. <laughs> so this is how I'm gonna do it. Just sprinting across the room. Seems to be the best way to do it. Right, right, left, right. Left, left, right, left. Left. Yeah, there's no way. There's no fucking way you could get away with this in the 21st century. Of video games. There's no way. If they ever made a remake, this would be the first thing they'd have to change. Right, right, left, right. Left, left, right, left. Left, right, right, left. Left! I'm gonna do this. Right, left, right, right. Right. Oh, we got this in the bag. It's dying. It's not exactly the most astonishing Metal Gear battle. It doesn't even move. It doesn't even fire. Yeah! Woo! Fuck yeah! Emergency? What? What? What's wrong? The self-destruct sequence for Outer Heaven has been... ...initialized! <laughs> All personnel are ordered to evacuate immediately. Well, oh shit, 30, 30 seconds, is that seconds? Bullshit. So, Solid Snake, I've been expecting you. I am the Supreme Commander of the Foxhound Unit and the leader of the Fortress of Outer Heaven, Big Boss. I gave this mission to you, a rookie, thinking I could use you to fool the rest of the world. But you were too good. You went too far, Solid Snake. I'm not going down alone. I'm taking you with me. Prepare to die. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just... I'll see how that works out for you, Cupcake. Get over here! Fire! Fire everything! Fire on me, Rocket! You can... Don't run from me, Bug Boss! Why do you have a horn in your head? It looks really creepy! Got him. <laughs> He had scars all over his face and a horn. How weird. Oh, look, three ladders. That guy, Jennifer's brother, told me to try the left one. Thank you, Jennifer's brother. You're awesome. This music's awesome, isn't it? Oh, look, if I picked the middle one, I would have been fucked. And if I picked the right one, I would have been thinking... Did I pick the right one? Am I okay? Oh, that would have been harsh. Ah, oh, thank you, Jennifer's brother. I can't believe Big Boss was behind it all the whole time. <laughs> Man, you must have run... You must have hauled ass, Nick, because... That looks like a nuclear explosion of outer heaven. This is Solid Snake. Metal Gear has been destroyed. Operation Intrude N330 was a success. You're really chill about the fact your commander was screwing you over. No big deal. Job done. That's all. No big deal. I'm coming back now. Over! What a total boss. What a man. This is Radio KNK. We have a special news flash. Bring it on, KNK! Today, before sunrise, a large earthquake was recorded in the vicinity of Galsburg, South Africa. Oh yeah? I wonder what did that. Presenting the staff of Metal Gear, and now it's just credits. That's Metal Gear 1! Short, but sweet, and ruthlessly difficult if you're not prepared going in. 
If you've got patience, and maybe if you don't mind looking at a guide, because some of those items hidden behind walls, especially Dr. Madnar's daughter, holy hell, you've got to be fucking with me, don't you? Some of that's just so... In it's crazy! It's like the guy created it, Kojima was just... He wanted to be evil! But well, that's how Japanese games were, I guess. They just... They needed to be really difficult, because while they were short, they needed to be replayable. And this was replayable at the time. And yes, for those who don't know, that... The guy we killed there? He wasn't technically Big Boss. That was Big Boss's Phantom. Venom Snake. Who you'll know if you played MGS5, The Phantom Pain. Uh, and it explains how Big Boss is able to survive this... the events of Metal Gear 1, and then return for Metal Gear 2. As, as much as I consider it a masterpiece like the rest of the Metal Gear series, it's a product of its time, really. The story is very minimal, the gameplay also very minimal. The music is fantastic though, I think that's a real standout about it, and it's got a good amount of action and bosses, considering everything. But as good as this game is, and it is good, the sequel to Metal Gear 2 builds incredibly upon this great foundation. You know, at the end of both Peace Walker and MGS5, I thought for sure they were going to add in this game, Metal Gear 1, as a remake. Just a really quick short remake using those engines of Snake busting into Outer Heaven and taking down you-know-who. I thought it would have been pretty simple, but no. In fact, during Peace Walker, they said at the end, there was a very big surprise for everybody that was industry changing. And I thought, oh my God, that means that Metal Gear 1 is included at the end of Peace Walker. Instead, it was just a Vocaloid thing, which was nowhere near as cool as what we'd anticipated. And certainly not industry shaking either. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? I'm not dead. Someday, I'll get even with you. Someday. We will meet again. Oh my god. I didn't realize there was a result screen. Difficulty original playtime. Only only three hours. It felt a little longer, I gotta be honest with you. Saved three times. I died 70 times. I went into alert mode 160 times. I killed 312 people. Are you serious? I think that might be more than any of the other 3D Metal Gears I played. 46 rations used. Special item, nothing, and I got the code name Deer. I don't know if this was in the original Metal Gear for the MSX or if this is something they did for the subsistence version, but that's that's amazingly cool. Fantastic. And I like the fact they also used that little stinger at the end, that little hook and tease for this future game with Big Boss saying he'll come back. And he will come back in a big way.